Hey guys, in this video we're going to be using the Pittsburgh Crossbar Dent Repair Kit to try to pull out some hail dings from our 2013 Dodge Avenger. Alright guys, so we've got Mr. Bug back helping us today. Hi guys, welcome back. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is take the little plungers here uh, that you use the hot glue on. We're just going to scuff them up, give them a little bit more for the hot glue to bite to. Um, then a smooth plastic surface. So we're gonna let Mr. Bug do his sanding. All right, let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Here. All right, let's do the big one. See what it looks like nice job all right so looking at the top of the dodge here we've got one good size hill ding here and another one up here just past the center of here so those are what we're going to try to pull out um, we are prepping this car to sell so um, i don't think it, this is going to be perfect but uh, hopefully it will help uh, make them just a little bit less obvious being a black car they show up really bad but the first step says to wipe these down with a little bit of the release agent. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Then we'll get the hot glue gun going and get it attached. All right, so it looks like the glue's hot. Let's go ahead and get some on here. Give it a few more minutes, then I'm gonna pull it out. All right, so we've let this glue set up. Mr. Bug, let's go ahead and get the crossbar in place. That looks pretty good, we're not touching the glass. Here, go ahead and screw the wing nut on and I'll just hold this here. So this way. Keep going. Keep going. This one's coming out better. Yeah, I think it's coming out better too. Okay, keep going. I think this one's better because it's bigger. Yeah. And we have liftoff. <laughs> All right, so our glue just pulled off. No, that's okay. Here, let's go ahead and Insurance. pull this off the rest of the way, see if we did any good. Just a little tiny. Yeah, I mean, it, it helped a little bit. All right, so one thing to note on these plungers, um, the, the holes that are in here, the, the small one has two, the larger one has, I think, six or eight. Um, but the glue, as you put it on the car, will push up through the holes, um, kind of pull up on top, and then uh, I, I think it actually helps hold it down a little bit better. But when you remove it from the car, it tends to get stuck down in there, and sometimes it'll break off. So we don't want to put it back in there um, like that dirty, with some of the old glue so 
Mr. Bug here's got a screw and he's just gonna poke it through so we can pull it out from the other side. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, let's look at the other side. I think you got it. Turn it over, turn it over. There you go. Is, are we clean now? Mm-hmm. All right. Clean on both sides. All right, so I would not call it very successful on the roof. I think it helped a little bit, but it didn't pull the dents all the way out like we were hoping for. Um, we've got another really good sized ding here um, in the door. I think you can kind of see. A little bit of clear coat scuffing on that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one. All right, Mr. Bug, let's go ahead and get her in place. We'll give this one a try. All right, so we did three pulls on this and looking at it straight on, um, you know, we still got some scuffing here in the clear that will buff out. And if you get down at an angle, you can kind of tell the way the light bends. There's still a little bit of a divot here that we haven't been able to get out. But all in all, it's, it's 10 times better than it was. For a $16 tool, yeah, I guess we're happy. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please drop us a like and subscribe so that you're notified when we post future videos. Until next time, stay safe out there, have some fun, and we'll see you next time on Sight Unseen Rebuilds.